in a what in a film? Oh sure, oh sure. Matter of fact, uh, you should learn all those paradiddles, the, the left-handed and right-handed paradiddles. Uh, let me show you a little bit something about. Down, 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 down. It's the same beat that's been around for a hundred years or more. Jazz has developed over the years. It developed from, you know, the blues of the really 1900s to Dixieland music, ragtime music swing music of the 40s and 50s when you hear those the big bands became prevalent swing music. Barry's going to be giving the introduction drum lessons as well as uh, checking some time. Feel free if you have not registered yet, please register at uh, this table. Uh, we've got free stuff from Big Firth, so thanks to Big Firth for providing uh, posters on rudiments, grooves, everything else. They have a great education system as well as does our uh, school of music, I believe, right? Don't we? We're pretty good, I think. We are. We are good at that. Because you're with us, Jeff. Oh, that's because you're there, <laughs> dude. That's uh, not me. But hey, uh, this is... Detroit, Michigan. Anybody from Detroit, Michigan? Yeah. There's always Detroit. I'm, a, I'm from Windsor, right across the border. Yeah, so we're practically neighbors. Yeah. He went to high school with Jeff Schiller, our, the head of our drum department, and was marching in the band together. He studied with Roxy Petrucci, uh, themed for the all-girl band called Vixen at the time. He was stationed in Japan with the Air Force, and he studied under Kozo Suganama, and Akira Jimbo. He recently retired from the Air Force last year and now teaches drums and percussion full-time at Playground Music in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Okay, well, interested to do a bass class, come on up on stage. Uh, I've been playing 36 years and I've been playing double bass, especially the double pedal since they came out in 1983. So, I've been up, up close personally. When you work on these type of exercises, you want to play it as long as you can. If you can play it for 5 to 10, 15 minutes, when you start cranking the speed on this stuff, it's like anything else. So much for double bass, it's got to be accurate, it's got to be clean. But that's 
starts to feel nice and comfortable, then start doing 60 notes, but keep it kind of slow. you know to what you don't know. Get the ride patterns down because they will really Play an exercise. 